So a lot of you guys in our online band academy are telling me that you want to learn how to play more beautiful. Sport is a form of entertainment. You want to attract views. So today, I'm going to give you the top five ways that you can play more beautifully through your form, through your play style, so that you can get the girl of your dreams. So the first mistake that you're making that's making your form look really bad is that your swing is looking something like this. Your racket is always super low in your prep and you're keeping it super tight. Now in order to make it look nicer, what we want to do is we want to be able to come up, always up in a high ready position instead of low down here. And we want to open as much as possible and that's gonna make your swing look so much more fluid, so much more beautiful than if you swing from down here like him. Because try swinging like this. <laughs> Not only do you look like a T-Rex, but when you swing from down here, you're going to be using a lot of your shoulder and it's going to be super stiff. And that's not what you want. In order to look beautiful, you always have to be fluid. So make sure to open up, come up high for a nice and fluid swing. The second reason why you're not looking good in your play is because your lunge form looks something like this. First of all, your lunges are super small steps. Second of all, your back is always arched like this, forwards, like a cat. And you're just bending your back to hit shots. And it looks like, it looks like you should be doing uh, gymnastics instead or being a little worm. How you want to do this the ideal way is instead, we're going to be lunging big. Come lunge with me. Yes, lunging big. And instead of bending our back like this, we want to keep our wrap body as straight as possible with our chest facing forward and we extend our arms fully, both arms fully. Yes, see, this is a much nicer position than small step and bending over like this, bending our back. And when you're always doing this, it looks like you're the balloon man from the car sales, right? You don't want to be that. You want to be nice, you want to be the knight or a fencer. Pop, imagine you're a fencer coming forward. The third reason why you look terrible playing badminton is going to be your ready position. Now a lot of you when you're playing badminton, I see you, especially our online badminton academy students, you're sending in videos, you hit the shot and you're just like, hey, have a, have a smoke, have a drink. No, 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 we want to have eager ready positions. Look, the difference between this and between this. So what does this look like? First, we have to bring our racket up. Second, we have to lean forward and keep our core very engaged and we're always on slightly the tip of our toes and we're always kind of in a very balanced position. Now what's also very important is going to be our focus on our eyes. We want to be looking at our opponents with intense gaze, like we're gonna dominate them after they go back to home and we sneak into their house. But another way to do ready positions is for our service position. So one, when most people do service positions, they're like relaxed like this. What we also want to do in service positions is we want to lean forward on our foot with our left foot just slightly with our toe up and we want to keep our racket nice high and ready. You see the difference between getting ready like this versus getting ready like this, ready to pounce. And that'll look, make you look so much more professional because you know, you're here to play the game, not to do something else. The fourth reason why your playing looks super bad is because you're not fluid enough and you're too stiff. Now what does too stiff look like? It looks like something like this. So look, you see he's using a lot of his shoulders, his body's all tight, there's no fluid, fluidity moving throughout his body. It's like he's a piece of, it's like he's a steel beam just turning, turning around. That's not what we want. In order to be fluid, we need to imagine a transfer of energy through our body. Let's just say for our overhead shots, the fluid of energy transfer starting from our foot down here, it comes up, moves to our back foot, right? And then it moves to our upper body where we then stretch. And as we come forward with our left arm, then it moves across our body into this arm and it moves and stretches out into the tip of our racket and goes out. So we have to imagine this whole momentum of fluidity going into our scissor kick and accelerating into a whip outward instead of doing these rough steel beam shots. Same for every other shot. Same for lifts. When we come up, we have to be fluid. Come up, out, fluid. Everything's fluid. Same for our backhand, fluid, okay? Not just hit and turn. We want to be nice and fluid, and that's gonna make you look like you're Bruce Lee on the badminton court. Tip number five to look better while you play is the clothes that you wear. First of all, the difference between wearing professional clothes and professional shoes versus wearing clothes like this, 
Look at him, right? It's huge difference. One, you're here to play, you're a professional, versus the other, you're like, just came home for bed, you don't know, you stumbled into badminton court. So it's super important to dress professionally, it makes you look so much better. Second is your fit. Now this is a fashion, fashion video now. <laughs> 